May God in heaven guard your life. Psalm 91 is one of the most powerful psalms in the Bible, the Word of God. This is a psalm that has the power to give you blessings of protection and break many bonds in your life also. It can bring a protective blessing to your home and your family. Today, we are going to pray Psalm 91. And after praying the song with you, rest assured that God will bless you greatly. I want you to pray this song with me either by repeating the words, or in your head, so that you can have all the promises contained in this powerful prayer of Psalm 91. So please feel free to leave your prayer requests. In this particular Psalm 91 prayer, I would like to ask you to add the names of your loved ones in the comments below. As I mentioned before, it's a powerful psalm of victory over the family and our homes. Leave the names of your family members in the comments because I will pray and present all of them to God for His glory. I would like you to hit the like button because every time you hit the like button, you are letting YouTube know that what you are seeing and hearing is edifying for you, so it can be shared with others, that is why hitting the like button is so important. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel so that other powerful prayers can reach your cell phone through YouTube now. Prepare your heart because after this prayer in Psalm 91, you will see God in action, and I have some guidance to give you. You can listen to this prayer and repeat it throughout the week. He will do great good if for seven days. You could listen to this prayer from Psalm 91 and even pray it when you are fasting. Now we are going to pray the prayer of Psalm 91 together. This powerful psalm of blessing, victory, breaking of bonds, and family protection. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my G-O-D in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your sight, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes, and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling place, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you. To guard you in all your ways, they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will temple the great lion and the serpent, because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him, and show him my salvation, my Lord God and my Father, Creator of the heavens and the earth. Jehovah Rapha God who heals, Jehovah Jireh God of provision, Jehovah Shalom God of peace, Jehovah Elohim, the God, who in control of everything, under the prayer of Psalm 91, I come to ask you at this moment to break all the ties of this person's life, all ties of spiritual life, all ties of financial life, all ties of family life, all ties of health. Let them be broken 
and fall to the ground in this moment of prayer. O Almighty God, I ask you to send a strong angel with a drawn sword towards this person's household. My God, to break all the action of the enemies, every evil action that is over this person's household, every action of the enemies in the form of fights, in the form of marital conflicts, in the form of cruces, in the form of tribulations, in the form of addictions, touch them now with your power, so that this person's house may be covered by your blood and by an anointing of protection. Because your word says in Psalm 91 that no evil shall befall them, nor shall any plague come near their dwelling place, my God. Every curse that surrounds this home, let it be broken and fall to the ground. In this moment of prayer, every work that has been erected against this life, under the power of the prayer of Psalm 91, I declare that it is broken, every work written, buried, thrown to the wind, spoken by someone who want to harm this person. I am declaring that it falls to the ground now. My God, all the illnesses that have affected this life, through some evil being, some spirit of illness, the arrow that Psalm 91 speaks of, the arrows of illness are now being broken by the power of God, arrows of disease, now by the prayer and power of Psalm Mighty One. I declare that they begin to fall to the ground. I declare that they retreat. I declare that under the blessings of this prayer, that all the illnesses in this body begin to disappear now. 